hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is Tulu Felongubeni. you can just call me out too because that's what my subbies call me if you would like to join this family you can just press the red button down below so all my retaining subscribers welcome back it is always good to have you back and i'm really excited that you guys are watching this video because today i will be sharing with you guys my experience where i was bashed on social media for photoshopping right so photoshopping gone absolutely wrong you might find this video just a bit triggering if you're someone who is struggling with self-hate or if you're struggling to love your body or if you feel like you have been bullied on social media or if you're struggling with self-confidence so trigger warning that's not all we will be doing today i also will be treating my wig right here on camera and i will be snatching my face because what is this honey let's go these bad dads make it hurt now nobody has actively like said something horrible about me or my body on social media right but i just knew like when puberty was kicking in i just knew that you know what i'm not happy like what is happening what is happening to my body you know like i'm having stretch marks and you know my body is becoming something that i don't like and i was just not happy right so obviously this is something that i grew with and by the time that i was doing my second year i was actively just someone who wanted to i don't know i felt like i was very okay with having my body being different than what it was because i was not happy like i didn't like my thighs i didn't like how like my stomach would show out when i was wearing jeans and stuff like that and i was like okay you know what this is just not it i don't like this body so now when i was doing my second year i was now starting to be really interested in your instagrams okay i've always been interested in facebook and like all the other social media platforms but i feel like for me instagram was like now starting to be a favorite right and then i'd see man like you know when you go to the explore page i was like okay what is happening why is everyone looking so hard like you know what i'm saying it's like they have snatched waist and you know everything is perfect boobs you know the jeans are sitting just right so i'm like okay you know what this is what i want for myself but i thought like everyone was either doing surgery or you know you're just born with it because i mean some people are blessed guys you know what i'm saying but still i was like okay i want this for myself so obviously i'm a student guys like there's absolutely no way that i can afford surgery or stuff like that so i was like okay you know what i'll just let this go i'll take selfies but i want like an app that i can use to at least like get those nice ones because i remember like guys your instagram was starting to be really lit and everyone was flawless everyone was like having a contoured nose and stuff like that and concealers and stuff like that like they were not a thing at the time but everyone was just smashed i was like how is everyone doing this i want this for myself you know what i'm saying so sharp game okay. now you know i'm constantly like on your google play i'm constantly looking for new apps that are hitting the markets i'm like how can i look bomb on this app you know like i really want to like be that girl so there's this girl that i was friends with like when i was in college i feel like we liked the same things we we're not really besties but we liked the same stuff so it worked for us so we'd always talk about like these famous girls like on instagram and then she's like to me babe babe i've got the tea like i know exactly which app they used to look like this you know so this app it was not really like she was not aware of what else it could do she was just like okay you can use this app you know to choose a filter that you like like if you want to to look nice and you feel like you know your photo is a bit dark then you can use this app you can do this you can do that right so i'm like babe thank you like any app that i can get me i'm always happy because i just love to edit to edit photos another thing about me like i'm a creative so i love that right so i'm like babe thank you the name of the app was you can perfect it still is i will leave the logo of the app right on the screen maybe you are aware of the app maybe you're not but let me tell you something guys right so i thought all that um the app could do obviously would give you filters like multiple filters that you can choose for your photos or whatever but like when i'm home you know now i'm home i'm looking at this app i'm like okay what really can it do you know what i'm saying because i'm interested so i can see that no man this app you can literally choose the color of your skin you can choose 
the shape that you want your nose to be in you can choose the shape that you want your face to be in you can literally do everything guys even your lips if you want them to look a bit fuller like you know sometimes maybe your lips like they a bit small like kylie jenner style so you like you know what i just want those bubble ones right you can do that on the app like you literally could do everything but now let me tell you something what i found interesting me because of what i was dealing with at the time i was like damn look at this app you literally can change the shape of your body so if you want your, your body to be in our dust you can literally do that right you can also remove things on the photo that you don't like which I, is a feature that i still prefer to this day but i don't use that app anymore because now i use snapseed but literally if you felt like you have a pimple on your face or like on your nose and you want to remove it you literally could do all those things and i was like any hey boy i mean i'm interested in this stuff yeah this is what i want da, 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 da. so surely my friend didn't see this type of stuff or maybe she's away but she was like okay because anyway what i was interested in initially were filters she didn't feel the need to tell me what else you can do i'm like you know what i'm gonna take this app and run with it now i'm testing the app guys right i'm using it for like the first time and i'm like okay you know what this app is bomb like guys you literally could do so many things and i was like no man like i'm literally gonna be the it girl with this app i didn't see anything wrong like i was so excited i was like you know what i'm just gonna continue using this app because it's making me the girl that i want to be you know i was happy with what i could see like on my photos and stuff like that i literally was not doing like too much damage that you would be able to see that i was doing any dodgy like dodgy stuff or i was not using it to the extent that maybe if you meet me in person and then you won't be able to see that it's me i was still me but it's just that the stuff that i didn't like on the photo i would just remove using that app right and then if i felt like you know what i'm wearing these jeans and i just ate pap and i want the stomach to go away i would just make it flat using the app it was bomb guys i'm not even gonna lie i enjoyed so <laughs> whilst i was busy having fun with the app so let's say now maybe i've been using the app for something like two months or so remember now guys sometimes you know you think you've got things unlocked but <laughs> no not really so this other time i took a photo like at the balcony of our school right where i was schooling when i was doing my uh my second year so i just ate like i just had lunch man you know and then we decided with my friends that we're taking photos so when we were taking photos i felt like my stomach was looking awful because remember i'm still full right now like i just had food so obviously i'm having that bloated stomach look i'm like noise so i'm standing in front of like on the photo i was sitting in front of a bakla fence like yeah fence yeah right so i could tell with mm -mm, man my stomach is not looking okay because i just ate i'm like you know what i'm just gonna edit using that app like i didn't even worry i was like no i'm just gonna use that app and then i know that i'm good to go hey <laughs> Aha. little did i know so i go on the app right i edit the photo like i'm doing my alterations i'm like ah there we go i take the photo i put it on facebook so nobody sees anything remember even me i'm not seeing anything wrong i'm putting it on facebook uh people are liking they're like yo babe you're so beautiful and stuff like that you know comments and all of this i'm like yeah i'm the bomb now you know you'll know me for who i am now and right i'm bomb guys like i'm good to go everything is proper in something like a week or two i don't know what it's saying go through your photos like because i remember like i think the guy that i was dating at that time or whatever he's like to me you know i feel like you're gaining weight around just around your your figure like okay you have a figure but like the hips are wider now so i'm like really he's like yeah i saw like on the photo that you posted like on facebook blah 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 and then he's sending a screenshot so i'm like nah i didn't gain any weight i don't know maybe i don't know maybe it's these jeans or whatever but after some time i'm like mm -mm, man mm -mm. you know what there's something wrong let me go and check this photo properly maybe there's something really off i look at this photo guys when i looked at the photo i could see that you know what the 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 the, the fence is bent a bit like on the side so as i was making alterations where i i fixed the stomach the gaze was like this and then on the sides it's like i'm like 
what the fuck did i just do right but i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna get away with this i'm gonna get away with this because nobody has said anything and like it's a week now it's, it's like two weeks or whatever so nobody saw this type of stuff i'm like no you know what i'm still good like i can continue using this app guys in literally three days three <laughs> That girl who recommended the app to me, that like my friend at that time, she's like to me, I'm telling you, why am I battling? I'm going to go back in. Yo! I'm like, yo, guys, I was like, you know what? I'm screwed. And like I knew that girl how she was. I just knew that before sending me that uh photo and saying that type of stuff, she probably sent it to 20 people before me. Just saying, guys, Begani Summer Talk, whatever. Because I know how she was. Like she was very gossipy, that girl. So I was like, yo, I'm screwed. But I was like, okay, you know what? Let me rest. Let me rest. Let me chill. There's this quality that I have about myself of composure. Like I can really stay composed. Right? So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not about to worry about the stuff. So I relaxed. I was like, I am as sharp. Guys, another three days. <laughs> another three days. Now I go into Facebook. I go into Facebook. At that time, there were these three girls who were like best friends. And they were so mean. Like they would literally post stuff about people and say whatever that came to mind. Like guys, those girls didn't care. They didn't give a fuck. Guys, they would say all type of stuff. Like even if it meant talking about your home situation or you know your rest situation if you don't have food at rest and stuff like that they would talk about that type of stuff like talking about people so you just know when those kind of people are talking about you like on that app that you screwed like you screwed for days so i go on to the app now one of them is saying what i was doing you know what because i was guilty i just knew they were talking about me right i just knew like i knew what i was doing so who else would, would they be talking about it was me clearly i'm like hey now i'm in hell guys i just logged out i remember logging out and then i was like yo i'm in hell right now and something in me said you know what go back and delete that photo girl because now you're screwed but at the same time i was like now if i go back and delete it it's cowardice behavior like i'm being a coward and I'm, I'm making it obvious that you know what now i feel small about what i did obviously i was embarrassed i was very embarrassed about what i did because i felt like okay yes i have issues with my body i don't like like how i look you know i did not like at that time i'll rephrase that part but now you know now it's out in the air it's not like maybe i'm writing about it on my diary or on my notes on my phone now it's out in the open now everybody knows because you know i made it clear to them that i want to change this part about my body so it's easier for them now to use it against me it's easier for them to say anything they want to say about my body because they know that i'm going to be offended so i was like yo okay now i'm in hell now what do i do i made a decision that you know what I can't carry on like this. And at the end of the day, I was not going to carry on with my life using apps to look a certain way because then I'm fake in that sense, right? So I started to like make real research, like do research, find out like, what is this? Like, why am I even doing this? Like, I was just really checking like the consequences of using these apps, like to change how you look and blah, blah, blah. And then I realized like, I came across this nice article and it just said something that was so meaningful to me. It just made me realize that I was struggling and I was dealing with body dysmorphia. Now, this is, I won't say it's really a mental illness. Okay, maybe it is a mental illness, right? But it's just a case where you are feeling like you hate parts of your body. And even if it's not that bad, you feel like it's so bad, like it's, it's so exaggerated in your mind. You're so clear in your head that you know what? I look horrible like my body looks horrible and you constantly now look for ways that you can change your body right because like that just that part of your body you want to change it so bad so there and there i decided that okay i'm now gonna like start looking into other clothing like life is not all about jeans anyway if i really i'm saying i'm a fashion person and you know i'm really into this 
fashionista life whatever then i need to go out there and look what else is there so that's when i started to like discover that no man you know you can also wear sweatpants but wear them like this like you don't necessarily have to wear sweatpants when you're jogging or when you're just chilling at home and you're bored or whatever like you really can wear them as fashion and whatever and then i started to go into dresses i started to guys i started to discover stuff that i really like and that is really the aesthetic that you guys see me with now like i wear a whole lot of dresses you know like i'm always just that baddie you know now another thing that i also thought about when i was going through like all of this i was like okay i understand that this friend of mine recommended this app to me right but it was just so weird like I, I started to feel a bit weird about her because i was like okay so she introduced me to this app surely she might have known what this app does right maybe it might have been a trap to say but i can't really blame anybody for it but i was just a bit shocked at how she was acting after the situation and i also felt like maybe she was the one who showed those girls because maybe she was not that bold to say it out loud on the app that hey my sister is doing this type of stuff maybe she knew that once i tell these ones these ones are gonna do this type of stuff but guys i can't really blame it on anybody i chose to use the app on my own and to this day i'm like thank god it happened to me because now i know better so now it's december hey guys now it's december i'm deciding okay it's time for me to make a comeback it's time for me to make a comeback now and around that december like i was going to so many pool parties i was like i i, I was targeting pool parties anyway i was like i want to wear bikinis i've decided that for my body i enjoy bikinis right i want to show out my my stomach i want to get used to it so the only way that i can get used to my stomach is if i see it often so if i want to see it often it has to be outside i was like i'm going to pool parties so lucky for me even the people that are like i was close to at that time like my niggas i remember sandy my pizza yo me and sandy Le, guys we would rock so hard like we'd go out like one thing about me and that guy like that's my dog guys i haven't seen him in a while but that's my dog we would go out we really rocked so hard and we'd go to pool parties because he knew the right people right because one thing about me i'm from the hood so i was a student at that time i couldn't really afford guest houses and stuff like that so obviously sandile was there and sandile would be like no babe don't worry like when you enjoy am so now we're gonna go to this pool party and whatever so this one time i'm asking him dog where are we going i think my instincts were telling me something they were telling me babe don't go to this party like don't go to this place you know because you don't know what you're gonna come across but gay okay, one thing about me i can be really stubborn so i'm asking him like where are we going he's like no don't worry you know we're gonna have a good time because he knew that me and these girlies we don't get along like he didn't really know why but he knew that we don't get along i was like i really don't want to be a part of this he's like no like some other girlies are gonna be there i'm like i don't mind the other girlies being there who are they you know he's like no you'll see guys they coming to my house i go outside i can see girls are inside but i'm not like really paying much attention so i just go outside i'm like ah hi guys gunjani sharp sharp i'm going into a different car <laughs> i'm going into a different car only to find out where when we we're going to where we're going that ah these are the mean girls so it's only like two of the mean girls who were talking about me like with this photoshop situation i was like girl now this is the time for you to shine because these people surely they've made up their minds that you know what first of all maybe you don't look like you do in the pictures and whatever so now this is time for you to yeah you need to now spread your wings and fly i i'm like okay i want to wait for them to go inside and then once they inside and they settled in and then i will fall <laughs> guys i literally sat in the car for something like 15 minutes and then i decided now it's time for me to spread my wings i went inside first things first the bathroom right because i didn't want to keep standing up you know whilst other people are sitting in and they're looking at me busy going to the bathroom or whatever like i'm looking for attention i'm like now it's time for me to go to the bathroom first things first got inside they looked at me from body like from head to toe literally like 
I think they couldn't believe their eyes. Guys, I was so beautiful. I will put, like, I will put up a, a, a photo right here or a video. I don't know. You'll see right here. I was so hot. And it, like, around that time, I was also now learning to, to do my makeup. You know, I was growing up, man. Like, now becoming the, the, the bad bitch that I want to be. So, obviously, I was discovering many, many things that I, I want to look like. Like, what I can do with my face, features that I want to show out more. So, you can just, you can just imagine how beautiful I looked, right? So now they're like, ha, ah, hi, Tulu, Donjani, you're all same okay? You know, blah, blah, blah. In my head, I'm like, how oh, Nina Futsi, but you know, right? So I'm, I'm like, I'm not a bad person. So I'm like, ah, girlies, uh, it's nice to see you guys. You know, you, you guys also look good. <laughs> you also look good, by the way. Likewise, I could tell there and there that, you know what? I was sick this whole time. Like, it was in my head, you know, whatever that I saw. But now, because I made this decision, to see myself for what I am. Now the body dysmorphia was going away. Now I was actually like embracing what I'm having. And like everyone could see it. And everyone could also like, like feel it. And appreciate me for what I was. Like you get what I'm saying. I remember I posted that photo. And it made it to this UK page. And I, I was so shocked. Because at that time I only had like 1k followers guys. Literally 1k. So I was like how can this reach so many people. And at the same time, I was, like, the only black person on the page. I was, like, how is this even happening? Like, there are influencers in the country, you know, really big influencers. Why are they even choosing my photo? So, that's it from me. Now, I'm just applying lipstick. So, this is a lip liner. My friends only introduced me to this stuff. I don't even know how to use it well. And then, I'm just going to wear the hair. I want to show you guys how the hair looks now. It, it's dried up a bit. And then, yeah, we'll take it from there. i really do like interacting with you guys so it's really not a train smash for me if you want to know what products i use to achieve this entire look it's on the description box like comment subscribe until next time <laughs>